DSU's annual MassCom Visual and Performing Arts Day is a day for students to have panels, instruction, and networking sessions with professionals in their industry. For the first time in 2019, MCVPA Day is including both the art and music departments, which Dr. David Tully, Associate Professor of Music and lead of the Music Industry Program says has been a long time coming. I think it helps the morale of the music industry students. Plus a lot of my students in my classes, half of them are mass comm anyway. So it kind of just brings us all together because that is the entertainment business. This being their first time at MCVPA Day, students in the music department were equally enthusiastic about the information and panels available Available to them. I think it's benefiting a lot because we're getting new information that we haven't had before. The opening panel with all the different alumni that have come, just hearing them speak and hearing what they went through and their different experiences have helped a lot and have given encouragement to different people and it was a lot of different questions that we had for them. So I thought that was really good, just that by itself. Even if we go to a different event that's not catered to music, we can go to a mass comm event or an art event, which could help us in our respective field depending on what we want to do. This connection between programs is noted not only by Dr. Tolly and his students, but by professionals in traditional mass comm fields, like freelance director and Viacom employee Kevin Spence. The combination of the arts is super important, um, only because they all intersect. My experience in the film industry, you know, we always reach out to musicians, whether we need scores, whether we just want to use features, you know, we it it helps set the mood for what I do, especially as a filmmaker. Throughout the day, music students were able to further these connections with fields outside of their major and consider new career paths not previously thought of. We hope this can continue as part of next year's MassCom Visual and Performing Arts Day at Delaware State University.